enjoying a peppermint tea out of my See the Good mug. And we're having one of those sunny weekends in Portland, which are very rare for this time of year. So seeing as we're not meant to go out and about, I thought I would take advantage of the sunshine and warmth and do some repotting of my house plants. I am by no means a gardening expert, so I've consulted this house plant guide book from the 1970s that I absolutely love. And I'm going to spend my morning just refreshing my memory on how best to care for my plants. I can't go out and buy bigger pots, so I'm limited with my resources, but I'm at least gonna try and do some maintenance and just get them ready for spring and warm weather. But yeah, just getting back to my roots hopefully feeling grounded and refreshed and just excited to go play in the backyard with my plants and Monsieur Roux, who is enjoying a luxurious nap on his dog throne. Here, I'll show you. Hello, Monsieur. Would you like to go outside? Oh, have you thought about it? You wanna go outside? Go get some fresh air. Do you feel more awake now? <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna go and you can meet me there. How's that sound? All right. Can't forget my tea mug. Let's get to it, friends. Okay, so after a lot of thought and deliberation, I've decided it's best to first clean off my planting station. By the way, Landon found this for free on the side of the road, and he surprised me with it one afternoon. I love it, but it is gross and mossy, and there are quite a few bugs on it. And then after that, I need to sanitize my pots because there are bugs and moss also growing in those. So I'm gonna wash them off in a bucket with dish soap and water, and then I will repot the plants that need repotting. So of course, more needs to be done than I originally thought, but it's sunny out, it's a beautiful day. I'm listening to the audiobook version of Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban to pass the time by. All around, I'm still happy. 
let's get to it. Don't look too closely. Mostly clean. This turned out to be a way bigger project than I initially intended, but isn't that how it always goes? Hello, Mr. Roo. Hello. Um, but I'm going to clean up and start on dinner. I'm feeling some roasted veggies and sweet potatoes. It's also getting chilly now that the sun's going down, and there's nothing better than a satisfying home-cooked dinner after you've spent the day outside getting your hands dirty and just are feeling good and centered with the earth. Uh, 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 uh. Yep, just babbling at this point. Let's finish this up. Learned a lot today. All right. Well. There she is, said Harry. And Barney was panting slightly, hurrying up the stairs. One hand.
lovely day so far. I did my usual morning routine and then had coffee and oats with Landon which was lovely and then I was able to sit down and crank out a few to-dos on my laptop. It is so sunny and nice outside right now and we are about to head into two weeks of rain so I just want to go outside and soak up as much sun as possible while the weather is still nice. So I am going to go outside and read. I've been working my way through Dog Songs by Mary Oliver and then also The Great Alone by Kristen Hanna and I've been thoroughly enjoying both of them. So I think I'm gonna just set up a blanket with Rue and bask in the sun. Overall, it's been a lovely, relaxing weekend. We are healthy, we both still have our job, we live in a beautiful home and have so much to be grateful for, which is what I'm focusing on right now. I hope that you're having a good day and are cozy and well and that you've enjoyed this video so far. Let's go chase some sunshine! Like. about 4 p.m. and I have come inside from reading. I also took a teeny little nap which Rue woke me up from. I'm looking over here because Rue is laying on his throne. So I just wanted to talk a little bit about what I'm reading. I finished Dog Songs by Mary Oliver and it is just 121 pages of <laughs> The kind of happiness that dogs show their beloved humans anytime we come home from being away, that is, that is this book right here. It explores all emotions associated with having dogs. Great joy, fear, loss, unconditional love, and everything in between. I loved this book so much. It made me laugh, it made me cry. And I know not everyone's dog lovers, so you might not be able to relate if you don't love dogs, but still the writing's beautiful. And I recommend picking up any book of poetry by Mary Oliver, if that's the case. So, 10 out of 10, 12 out of 10 stars. Just my favorite. What are you doing? The shouldn't be running and then I've gotten a hundred pages into The Great Alone by Chris and Hannah and it's moving really quickly which is really nice actually like it's 
a big book and I'm wondering there's already been so many developments in the plot and I'm wondering like how can this even carry on like we're just now entering winter and so many things have already happened but I love it because it makes me just want to keep reading I really like the writing and Lenny our protagonist is wonderful and I am totally along for the ride and a bit scared of what's to come but excited to find out I also have a friend well she's kind of a friend of a friend but literally this week she moved to Alaska and I just am thinking of her the entire time that I'm reading this um, this takes place in the 70s, it is now 2020, and the world is chaotic right now, but I hope that things have changed just the teeniest bit in Alaska, and it's not so hard to survive. I'm not sure what part she's moved to, but I almost want to recommend that she reads this book just to mentally prepare, if necessary. So, great reads, and now I am going to edit a video.